Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Among Stouts. If you're new here, my name is Samantha and I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mom of four kiddos. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you the curriculum picks for my daughter who is going into the fourth grade. And so this is all curriculum for the 2021-2022 school year. So before we get started with all of the curriculum picks, um, if you guys have been here at my channel for um, the year that I've been on here now, it's been almost a full year. I started my channel off with curriculum picks videos. And so here we are now again doing our curriculum picks. But the biggest change that you're going to see in these videos is that we are not um, we did not purchase kits from Timber Doodle this year. And that is simply because everything that was in our kits that we got last year, we tried, we liked some of it, we didn't enjoy some of it. And so when I went back and looked at all of the kits again this year, buying a full kit for each one of my kiddos just didn't make sense. So this year we have just decided to go ahead and piece together all of our curriculum, um, knowing now going into it that we are doing classical conversations, which at this point last year, we didn't know that we were going to be doing CC. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this curriculum picks video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with language arts. If you have seen the curriculum picks for my second grader, then you know that we're kind of making a little switch with my girls from master books to um, the good and the beautiful. But I do have the language lessons for living education level four. Um, for her and this is because I purchased this curriculum back in December during their sale and this was before I ever even considered making a switch from master books to the good and the beautiful um, my kids do actually really love this curriculum all three of my kids do they love the language lessons from master books but I so just because since we are a classical conversations family my kiddos do need a stronger foundation in sentence diagramming and that's just one of the biggest differences that I know for firsthand between master books and the good and the beautiful is that there isn't any in master books um, but there is in the good and the beautiful and so that is what she's going into I did give her the assessment and she was kind of borderline between being ready for level four and level three but because she hasn't done the good and the beautiful before I'm going to go ahead and start her off in level three. So this is her language arts and literature level three course book, which includes literature, grammar and usage, punctuation, art, geography, spelling, vocabulary, and writing. And so she is a really, really great reader, great writer um, for the most part, but she does struggle a quite a bit with her grammar and usage and so for those reasons that's why I went ahead and wanted to just start her off in level three rather than going to level four um, just to cover any gaps that she may have had in grammar and also to give her um, a better understanding of sentence diagramming. So this is the course book and then it comes with this level three personal reader there and then it has a poetry collection for um, elementary age children I sat by the sea so these are the two readers that come with the good and the beautiful for her and um, I don't know how much of the writing she's going to actually do in the good and the beautiful and that's just because again she's moving up to essentials and we are going to have a writing curriculum that we do alongside essentials so um, we'll talk about that here in a little bit so the next thing that she has is Wordly Wise, um, book four. My kids did this whenever they were in public school and I considered doing it last year, but I ended up buying other workbooks, workbooks for them to do that ended up not working out. So they enjoyed it while they were in public school. So I, I decided just to go ahead and go back into this. Um, building up the vocabulary is never a bad thing. So we are going to start her off. Um, in book four since she was in book two when we pulled her out so she skipped book three but we'll go ahead and just do book four and then she has her handwriting from the good and the beautiful this is level five we have her skill sharpeners geography by Evan Moore grade four And then she has the um, More Than Words Living Faith Bible Curriculum Level 2. Um, and so this is our first time doing a Bible curriculum. 
and this isn't all that we are going to be doing. We still do Bible studies and devotions and my kids all, we do family devotions and they have individual devotions that we're going to continue doing. So if you haven't seen my uh, video on including the Bible and how we do that in our homeschool, I will go ahead and link that below. But I kind of wanted this year to try something different for each one of my kids to have um, their own book that they're getting into and you know, just learning more about the Bible and their and character and all of those things are that are included in here i wanted them to have um more um time with that independently and also something for them to be able to go back on and look in one day to see how they were growing and learning in their faith when they were younger and then um i shared this in my second graders video but also i have a full um flip through of all of these pages in my conference video of my, I went to the um, Teach Them Diligently conference and then I filmed a haul for you guys. And so I will link that in the description below also so you guys can see what pages these are. But these are just busy binder pages that I got from September & Co. Um, there at the convention. And so she's going to have a busy binder as well, just like my second grader, just so that anytime she's done with everything, but I'm busy or we're out somewhere and I just need them to, to, to do something. She loves to read, but if she doesn't have a book on her, she can do the binder. So she is nine years old and Essentials is everything by age rather than grade level. And so now that she's nine, she's going into Essentials. Um, and so I have here the new, I haven't like unpackaged it and put it in binders yet, but this is the new Essentials Guide um, that I purchased. So she will be doing Essentials and this is all grammar, language arts, stuff like that as well. So the Good and the Beautiful is in addition to Essentials. So we may not do all aspects of the Good and the Beautiful, but I wanted um, them to have that to do here at home. And so then along with essentials and for writing this year is ancient history based writing lessons from IEW. I have been singing IEW's praises all year long. It has been such a wonderful curriculum for my son. Um, they're both really excited to do this one considering we just got done with our gather around ancient civilizations unit. So they're excited to get more into um, ancient history. And I really do hope that this works well for her, but based on all of the kiddos that um, we, we just did the essentials class with, it works so well for every single kid in there that I'm pretty sure it'll work, it'll work well for her too. Um, so really excited about that. You guys aren't going to see math for, um, for my fourth grader or for my sixth grader because we are going to be using Teaching Textbooks 4.0 for them and I don't have anything to show you for that. So she is going to be moving into the math level four of Teaching Textbooks but um, just like with my second grader, if you saw that video, I am very interested in the, um, the Good and the Beautiful math curriculum for both of my girls. So once that is available, I am likely going to be purchasing math level four from the Good and the Beautiful for her. Um, so if you guys just keep an eye out and as always, I will make sure to share with you guys if I make any changes to her curriculum at all. And that is all of her curriculum for the fourth grade year in 2021-22. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video of me sharing with you the curriculum kicks for my daughter who's going into fourth grade. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you're interested in seeing more curriculum picks videos, I already have my second graders video up. My um, sixth graders video is going up soon and I'm also sharing some fun things for my toddler slash preschoolers. So keep an eye out for those other videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.